So you manage to finally do a long rest after many many <laughs> battle encounters for as <laughs> long as you can remember. <laughs> oh yeah lah. One after the other. <laughs> the whole day. A whole day, whole days. I think waves and waves. I think it's up across several days. <laughs> Speaking, <laughs> you manage to face this, face that. You scale cliff. You throw people off cliff. I think you as in Greg. <laughs> <laughs> you kick people off cliff while screaming Sparta. It was fun. <laughs> you went to a skill, uh, skill test or. Test of strength. After you're okay lah, that's one rest. <laughs> and then the the at the end of the that encounter, the the test things went a bit south <laughs> by the actions of one of your party members. Mm-hmm. <laughs> then after that, you encountered a blood mage, and then you you also encountered some imposters. Among us. Yep. <laughs> Among them. Oh no. <laughs> and after that, you managed to to be rejoined by the ex Grey Warriors that is now serving the House of Koma through substitute. It's not subterfuge through political means and also quick thinking from the Lady Mara in order to recruit. Experienced warriors that are left houseless to to join her house in order to bolster her rank that has been vastly depleted after a treachery from the Min Wanabi. So all of you managed to uh, have a long rest right now. Uh, we can assume those who are not joining us are fast asleep. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Right now it is change name already. It is night time. Yep. So you are all gathered at the campfire to where it is known to be safe, and it seems that Lujan and Kenji enjoy sharing stories in the night near the campfire. So as you sort of uh, recover and awake, uh, start to get awake from your long rest, you will hear Lujan starting to say, "I know a ghost story." <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yeah. He was talking to Kenji and all those. So, uh, Kenji, since you are not, you join us a bit late. These are our hills that we use as our base in our grey warrior days before being called by Lady Mara. You were late joiners, but there are lots of stories that we heard when we are camping in these hills. <laughs> Would you like to know one, Kenji? And Kenji just nodded. So, this is the story. Oh. Lord Greg. Yes, Lord you continue on. Oh, uh, I'm so sorry if my voice disturbs your sleep. Oh, no. I want to hear the story. This sounds fun. <laughs> uh, well, it is just a story, but it is something to do about a woodcutter. Mm. About five years ago. Or something more than that, but no less than ten. Well, not more than ten. There is a woodcutter that made his living cutting wood and selling them to the town, to the village of Kanazawa. He lived with his wife, and later they were bestowed a daughter, and they live their life <coughs> purposefully and without disturbance. 
it is. It's where I think it's turned into or tragic for the film. As he made his living cutting wood, gathering wood, his wife usually brings their daughter along to gather herbs and uh, mushrooms in order to be cooked as part of their daily meal. Then one day, while she was traveling into a valley that is not that far, but really not that close from their home, where the woodcutter and his family made their, well, their dwelling. He saw a hole in the ground. Curious, she saw something shiny inside the hole. to pick or try to see what was in the hole she pushed her hand inside the hole to retrieve the shiny item something grabbed her hand and she screamed Ooh! in terror and pain her scream caught the attention of the woodcutter who rushed to his wife to help but she was pulled, and the hole in the ground became bigger and bigger. She has their daughter at the back. She has a, something like a backpack that she, with her free hand, before being totally pulled under, this threw her daughter, threw, threw their daughter towards this woodcutter before she was totally pulled into the hole in the ground. The woodcutter screamed, but magically as if the hole swallowed her, closes after she was fully submerged. Hello. Shut up, Shen. We have a little story and you are Hearing echoes on your end. Shut up. <laughs> oh, my Chen. You are now awake. Did I did my loud voice disturb your sleep? No, I was taking a shower. I was taking a nap. <laughs> we don't need to know that. <laughs> You're taking a dump in open space, like over there, is it? Oh, my God. Just the exhibition is. Mm-hmm. Okay, never mind. Alright, sorry. What, what, what happened just now? Did I miss out anything? Nope. Just story time. Oh, okay. Okay, let's continue. Sorry. What uh, happened? Uh, well, I, as I was saying, so only the woodcutter is left with their daughter crying when he at the loss of his wife. Later, he tried to be bringing up their daughter alone while he tirelessly he searched the valley and the cave for their daughter. But it seems like the, the, the valley has turned dangerous with creatures that creep in the dark started to attempt to capture him. Grief. He turned to the Okoma for assistance to adopt his daughter while he continuously searched for his beloved wife. That is the last they heard of him. Oh, you know that story sounds familiar. But sometimes. People from the Kana, especially from the Kanazawa village, keep saying they are they encountered him from time to time. If and when they ever go near the valley where it is said that he lost his wife, and usually it is told that the villagers who 
loitered around there, was told off or warned to keep away from this place because it's dangerous. And sometimes, wayward travellers, they thought of being helped by him in their time of need. So it is not known if the globe incident. I know. Shut up. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is quite tragic. Well, it is. Well, what I heard also, the daughter was lost over time. And then suddenly came this. Wait, I heard something different. I heard the coma who brought up the daughter adopted all these orphans in order to help them be independent and contributing to the society. Which is why I rushed at the op earliest opportunity when being called to serve the Akoma after I lost my house, my house and my honor. <coughs> well, me and the boys here, we managed to, well, be the woodcutter. You just admit. Uso, liar, I, are you sure you met the woodcutter? It's just like urban legends that is being told over campsite. Oh no, we, we saw the woodcutter, he brought us to his home, we set up camp for the night, and we saw spiders? It was very confusing that day because there was a lot of things going on, but still, it was the woodcutter. He saved our life when we went to the place that we should not go. It was very dangerous. Some says that he succumbed to injuries he suffered later while searching for his wife and battling whatever things that dwell in the key. You see Greg trying to process things and he just says, I don't know. Well, if you do and you are alive to tell the story, Consider yourself very fortunate and very unique and special. Mm. Oh, I know who can back up my story. Uh, the lady of the House of Chroma. She was there too. Are you sure? Yeah, we were kind of going home, trying to not cause a commotion. And then suddenly that. That what? <laughs> oh, um, we, 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 we kind of went down to the valley, helped people, and then we got attacked by a lot of monsters. Wait, are you saying that? When was this? A few it's weeks ago? What, you mean the last we... Met? I think so. It was after that. That is very interesting. <coughs> but then this, in this this hill, oh, this, it was just last week. <laughs> are you sure? Because the time span is the story is all over the place. Technically, te yeah, I know, I know, right? It was just last week, but it felt like four months ago. <laughs> remember, remember. Okay, so tell you, tell you the player lah. This not, this not in character. Remember when uh, after after we deliver, after we went out from the you know that place, we went back home. So that's then afterwards all the shit happened. Then we started this quest. So, so the time we started this quest was about one week. So mm. it's less than one week. <laughs> in more than one week, I guess. One, one and a, one and two days. One week, two days. <laughs> two. Yeah. <laughs> GM, it's up to you how to decide timeline because Greg is dumb with time. <laughs> uh, it, it was about um, two weeks back because you went back and there is an encounter and then there is this uh, warriors that was being uh, recruited 
I swear allegiance. Yeah, those are several days, and then as you venture yeah, here, yeah. There, there are lots of things happening along the way. <laughs> It's more than just yeah, but, 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 but recruitment. Yeah, not to mention we stopped. But recruitment happened in one day, right? The whole the whole thing. Not to mention that we stopped at the village. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, but, but, but the, because the spend from the Akroma to the village, uh, uh, like the sorry, the spend from the Akroma to to this uh to the what are they the pond, the end of time spent was one week, <laughs> and the time frame from when we actually exited that, that that's at least two days. And everything happened between was only one day. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, you do take a long rest at the the pond. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so uh, yeah, about two weeks, I guess. If you if you count if you count the current time, right? that's around like one week, four days, or five. Yeah, almost one two weeks, I guess. Well, let's not be too because in order from going from here yeah. to the house to the Akuma, when you took a shortcut, it will take about. About two days. Yeah, two weeks then. About that. Right? So, so more or less. All right. So, Lujan was, you know, ah, you, you make me shiver, remembering all of this, and then suddenly, Master Greg, you tell us, you are encounter this woodcutter quite recently. Because no one has heard much of him or seen him for the past five years. Mm. He was the nice guy. He was well, that is a good. That is a good. But. This is still night time. None of the others try to pre confirm it, is it? <laughs> nope. <laughs> you you can ah, because not you're there. not there. Yeah, yeah, you, you're not there. Edgar was there. <laughs> Edgar can back me up. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, so that is my turn. Oh, sorry. Kenji, do you have. Any other stories, scary stories, to tell around the campfire? Can you thought for a bit and then I am from House Otaku. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, that house was destroyed by the mean wannabe. Mm. And Making me masterless. I miss the otaku. Mm. Was your father Bruno Kenshin? But they are very knowledgeable. <laughs> but wisdom cannot equate to the might of the main wannabe, and they pull their all their resources <clears throat> to destroy our crown. But. I think I can hear myself from your side. Oh, really? That that doesn't make sense. Yep. You're not putting your headphones on. Yeah, everyone can hear that. Mm-hmm. So I, I'm like echoing. Yes. Yes. You are echoing. Yeah. That's kind of weird. Okay, wait. Let me see this. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yeah. You're a battle master. You're not an echo knight. <laughs> no, no. Now, now, to go echo? I think it's just both big ones. I think, let me, let me try. I think, okay, now it's okay. That's kind of weird. Uh, oh, well. Okay. Okay. So, anyway, as, do you want to hear my story or not? Yes, please. Okay. Let's go, let's go. It's your father, Batusai. The Slayer. <laughs> I do not think you know me, Master Shen. I came in late at the behest of Lujan when Lujan came to our camp telling about the offer from the House of Kobe. But going to the south of the land, our land, there is a tale 
of a sorceress that uses the soul and also drains the blood of her victim in order to become ingredients or the essence for her dark magic. <coughs> and this is forbidden according to my masters. But she always uses a ruby in order to gather all of the essence to supplement and later use most of her spell can be cast easily. So the story is with more and more soul or blood or essence gathered in the soul, the more powerful she can become. And later, she can be said to become immortal with the right incantations ingredients and also ritual. So this is not scary, but what is scary is the story of the sorcerer who taught all of this sorcerer the process to become such an evil creature. She is said to be pale skin and coming from Sholong to this land about a thousand years ago Are you scared yet? Are you scared that Lujan? Look Imagine somebody <laughs> who lives for a thousand years <laughs> Oh, Greg, you're checking history. <laughs> Trying to remember stuff. Can't remember shit. Okay, yep. Imagine living for a, for more than a thousand years, draining off and leeching from the population and the populace, always searching for more essence in order to sustain yourself. That the most dishonorable magic and ritual and evil process that someone is willing to undergo to achieve immortality. I wonder if the recent happenings or reports is linked to this ritual. So you say those wizards were you sorcerers were using red gems? Which sorcerers? The... Just telling about what the ha- the story that is known to my house. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you said sorcerers were using red gems to collect souls into them to make it power. Something no. like that? Yes. But it is usually reserved to the knowledge of the senses of our house. But for us warriors, we hear these stories from their apprentice from time to time over mm-hmm. a game of chance. Mm. Do they use blood by any chance? Yes. Yes, I think one of the apprentices is blood, while another says soul. Then hmm. that apprentice he knows his his essence, so I think it's some sort of that. Hmm. Okay, that makes sense. I think I'm not sure. Hmm. Shen, you can see Shen nodding. It's like he he understood the reference. Hmm. 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 Anyway, it's getting late. Unless somebody got one more story to add, we can sleep. Then one of the <coughs> lady with the arrow, uh, with a long bow, came to that, uh, pick up something that is being cooked or roasted 
over the fireplace say and nodded and just say masters mm-hmm. Lujan and Kenji so far everything is quiet this night uh, that is all I have to report all right well lots uh <coughs> It is something if well, Lord, I hope we do not disturb your rest for too long. I believe you want to return to the house of Koma at the earliest opportunity. Yes, yes, that's what we're trying to do. May we know where you which road you will be taking? The fastest to stay first. Then it is through the town of Kanazawa. Then mm. I have been talking to Kenji while you were resting about that imposter warriors. We may need to keep some of our numbers here to monitor mm. their movements. Mm. Okay. They hmm. did say something about a witch, something like that. I don't remember. A witch? Yeah, they, they say something about some kind of sea devil. I, I don't really remember. They, they were kind of hostile and they were um, masked up, so I couldn't really hear. Maybe it is best for you to report direct to the lady Akoma. We'll do when I get home. Oh. <laughs> Kenji, I just remembered. The name of the daughter of the woodcutter. You were asking about that tale we Several days ago, several nights ago, I just remembered her, the na- the 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 daughter's name is Mariko. Uh, Mariko, wait, why is it familiar? I know that's why it's so 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 familiar. Uh, uh, I I I actually I remember, but I just I just wrote history just just for the sake of it. Yeah, okay. Alright, so I'm gonna Oh. Oh. Nope, then. Where do we hear this name? Nope, then. No, it... I, I know Edgar might have heard this. No. Not then. Hey, by the way, is that still Echo? No, 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 it's okay. It's better. Alright. I wish you... Wait, where we have heard that name? Uh, if it's... Uh... Around the campaign, right? No, it's... Uh, okay, it's actually, you know, remember I when we were at the Cutters, Cutters place? The, mm-hmm. There was the shrine? Mm-hmm. That one? There? Yeah, yeah. yeah we, we remember that, the shrine. So, we saw it there. Yeah, and then and then uh, I can't remember who who did something and then you know. Is, is it there though? I still think so it's there. <laughs> I'm just gonna shut up and go to okay. sleep. Okay. <laughs> so you will sleep until morning, <coughs> all of. Or yes. you want to? Uh, you still have, you have rested, and you have uh gained some levels. You do have some of the items that you have. Items. Yes, we have items. What are those items? <laughs> but I don't think I have my items. Yeah. What? Jim. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> yes? Trying to brew a healing potion. Is it considered as a like heavy activity? Healing potion requires a uh, lot of uh, distillation or preparation, all those 
you have to do macam uh, dekat letung apa semua tu for that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So it's con, ah, uh, yeah, it's con. I cannot take a long rest if I want to do that. Can it? Can it be done in the long rest? Is Jim? Ah, no. You rest. You are resting. <laughs> So we have that. Uh, you know, I don't need to like. like. Yeah. All right. So yeah, yeah. I'll I'll just like sit there and open up my book, and then <laughs> try to so concentrate familiar. to commune with Kirin. Just immediately. So A little bit. Like what <laughs> uh, so we're gonna take turns keeping watch. Okay. No need. <clears throat> you guys can take the rest for the night. I can take the watch for the entire night. Hmm. But well, anywho, mm-hmm. Greg is going to take first watch and he's going to sharpen his uh, great axe. Alright, so you'll do sharpening your axe. And also my daggers and whatever that needs sharpening. <laughs> okay. And um, lastly, he's going to take a look at the Leviathan axe and okay. just probably take a look see, like really understand what this thing is. It's an axe. <laughs> oh, come on, it's not an axe. <laughs> it is an axe that has uh, some acting on that that you, you think it is uh, more intricately Prepared. <laughs> I, I go. You can say it's more nordic than Eastern. <laughs> I, I go to uh, Zen and ask him, Zen, where can you take a look at this act? Does does yeah. this say anything to you? I I take a look. Do I understand the language? The, Does the, yeah. So the the marking and the etching on the axe seems to be of alien signs to you, but you know something right. it, something Understood. has imbued this uh, axe with powers that you may not understand fully but you know mm-hmm. power is power mm. it is cool to the touch very okay. cool my apologies Greg. i could not read but the etching or marking dream but i can sense that there is quite some of power resides within this act. Hmm. You want to know a story? Sure. Why not, back, right? Back when I was the... Uh... It's only the both of us that... Mm-hmm. It's... Back... Mm-hmm. back when I was a child, there was this story about this one god he was a ferocious god. He, when in his younger <laughs> days, he slaughtered other gods and kind of became the god of war. Then, time passed, he chilled and mellowed out and had a kid. And they said that he had an axe where 
feels frost damage and it comes back to him when it called. It's all stories and I don't remember. Sorry. And you're saying this axe belongs to that god? I don't know. I heard stories, but never really remember the god's name. I mean, it was I was still a child when I heard the story. And I don't really remember anything much about anything. It's just that this axe reminded me of that story. And I don't really recognize the language on it. Except that it had a bit of giant on it, I guess. But other than that, I don't know anything about this. And my boss wants this axe. But I wish I can show you that it is foreign to this land. Mm. And I do not know of the god that you're talking about. I guess. Maybe he's not from this that place. Give me that that's raise up a question. If it's like popular in your parts of the world, how could it he end up in this region. I don't know. My uh, my tribe is like destroyed. Like I'm the last of the tribe. So so Chen suddenly noticed uh Karasu is wearing something. Is putting mm. something on her right arm. Mm. You know what? Let's save it. Let's save this for later. Um, uh, Sen, could you ask your deity Kirin about the god I was talking about? Maybe they heard of him before. I could try. Thank you. And That's all I, I asked. Focus, Thank you. Oh, oh god, I was muted. I close my <laughs> hand and try to commune. Try to commune with Kirin. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. While, while, while they're doing that, I, I will go, go to our friend and ask him, what are you, what, what are you wearing? Him or her? <laughs> yeah. I I, I, I wow, don't know if it will be a hip or her. You heard them? Shen is making his move. Oh no! Let's get it down. Shen is making his first move. Where's my belly white music? Ding, <laughs> <laughs> ding, mm, Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so Shen, you were asking Karasu. Yeah. So what you can see is something like a, a glove that goes almost to the elbow. It looks, uh, at first it looks like a leather glove that fits very snugly on the, the fist. Hmm. So Karasu, do you show to them? Yeah, uh, I'll show to Shen. Uh... I will touch and I found this glove uh, on one of the body. It just, it just fit me nice. Hmm. Do you want to try it? I will... Oh I no! Observe it, I guess? <laughs> what the heck? Oh no, GM, why did you use that art? <laughs> <laughs> did, did, okay, yeah. When, when Kasu wearing it, did she go bald? <laughs> no, fortunately, no. Okay, I I call Zen Zen. Zen. Yes. Yes. Come take a look at this. 
Can I have to pick it up from one of the bodies? Can you check if it contains any curses or evil? I can try. <laughs> I try to estimate if there's any malice energy from that item, Jim. Which item? The glove. <laughs> the glove. The glove. Uh, <laughs> you do not detect any malice from the glove. But you do sense power. <laughs> Unlimited power. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> he has the high ground. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I can assure you that the glove does not have any, any curses stuff or anything. But <laughs> I could sense that there is immense power within the item. Mm. Oh. Oh. I, as long as it's not cursed, I think it's fine. I suspect the glove to Karasu. Do let us know in the future if you pick up something. We I, uh, don't we don't want you to be cursed or become bald after wearing it. I, I think this is her letting us know that she has this. <laughs> and Kenji was looking at the exchange and then she says that I think I have seen that glove in a manuscript somewhere. Oh? Was it about? Oh. <clears throat> I think it's, there are monks among the otaku houses. There are some of them trained with the Yamabushi. They were uh, talking about it looks a striking semblance with a monk manuscript. We thought that this have the glove has been lost through generations, or so they they are saying. But they are always looking for this existence of this glove. It, it is said that it is a glove with a power beyond comprehension, and. It can just defeat even the strongest giant with a single strike <laughs> or a single punch. Yeah, I, I can't tell you how much I was laughing in the background. Um, <laughs> Greg, Greg is hit by this and Horus too. Can I take a look here, that glove? Can I put it on? Yes, but just be careful. I don't know what that it does. Okay. So. And it's very, very funny. Oh. All right. Anyway, um, Greg, take a look at the glove. Can it fit him? The glove looks um small. After Karasu took it off. Mm hmm. You want to try to attempt to put it on? Um, I'll try, but if it starts to kind of overstretch or kind of starts to break, I'll stop. At first, you thought it was made of leather, but as, upon closer inspection, you notice it is made of something Vegan other leather. than leather. Oh. Yeah, it, it's not leather. It's <coughs> something that really stretches. And strangely, as you try to put it, you do, it does not take a lot of effort for the glove to fit into your right hand. Oh, okay. It's as if the, the, the style of the glove changes to your hand to fit it nicely, snugly. Oh, okay. Um, let's see. Um, I'm going to go here for a bit. So Greg goes a bit further and tries to... Um, yeah, he's going to try and punch the ground with the his right hand. 
Make a strength check. Alright, go BP. Oh man. Really? Nine. Doom. The ground is hard and your hand starts to hurt a bit. Ow. Okay. Well, I don't think that works for me then. So, um, goes back, uh, gives the glass back to Karastu and says, I don't think it works for me. Oh, okay. Maybe Zen can have it later on. Zen? Why Zen? I don't know. GM, uh, do I feel any headache or whatever? Because uh, is the glove need to use a tumor or something like that? You are not sure. You just put it on and then you went somewhere and you just you punch the ground. All right, so uh, if there's some kind of a human and I use... Thank you, your intelligence. Uh, just, just, just saying, uh, if there's a human and I use it without you uh, tuning to it, I think I get some kind of penalty. Well, you <coughs> don't seem to... to suffer any untoward changes, as you can recall, or as you notice. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. All right. Anyway, that was interesting. I'm gonna go sleep. All right. So, so who is holding the glove? I give it back to Karastu. Karastu yeah. gives it, keeps it, or gives it away. I'll, I'll just try to put it back on and just okay. wear, it, just wear it. Do you want to attune to it or something? Okay. Yeah, why not? I, I'll try to attune to it. All right. So what do I do? Well, you just try to uh, hold it and then you try to open your awareness to the glove. Open it up. <laughs> awareness. Hmm. <laughs> So you will you will spend some time to attend to that. Yes. Possibly in an hour's time. All right. So, <clears throat> yeah, somebody will attune, try to attune to the glove. Anyone else who wants to do something, anything? I think uh, Zen wanted to communicate with Kirin for a bit. Already Chen, rolled Chen. the GM. Oh, okay. Chen, right. Chen will, will, will try to study the armor pieces that he had collected, I guess. Oh, yeah, I should do this. Yeah, I think that's all. Okay. All right, so, oh. sure. <laughs> that one. plus <laughs> ten. How come you plus ten? Why? How? Why? Why? Yeah, that's the thing. Perception plus ten. Wow. Hmm. You take a fit, is it? Wait, wait. I have a face. No, there's something wrong there. Yeah, I've never seen a twelve perception. <laughs> That's a level 20 character. <laughs> Even a level 20 doesn't mean you have a 12. That's true, that's true. Let's see. Uh, 1 plus 9 plus 10 plus 3 minus 1. What? How? What? I assume that's, that's a glove of ogre power. <clears throat> oh well, so Zen will do something. All right. So anyone else is going to? Can I get through? Yeah. Seems like 
in a way, yes, you you can you manage to establish uh, connection. It, it's quite weak. What would you like to know? Okay. Uh, first of all, I would do a confession. Confession. With two. Confession. Yeah. To Kirin now, who, oh, okay. who else? So in Celestial, I will, oh. yeah, I will talk to him. Kirin, I did, I did big mistake earlier this morning. Out of a whim, I conjured that star that you warned me that I should not cast it at any cost. <laughs> But it did happen. And I really regret it. Oh, oh, oh no. You kind of hear or feel or just uh, hear some a word. Just a single word or is it uh, an incantation? Just one syllable inside, inside your head as you commune? And the incantation sounds like the syllable sounds like duh. <laughs> Dang it, what's <laughs> fun? <laughs> well, wow. yeah, actually, it, it would sound like that, yeah, seriously. Because our relationship is more like friends. Oh man, I can just imagine what you're probably saying. Yo, Kirin, I done fucked up. And Kirin's be like, uh. duh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> or is it <coughs> <coughs> no 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 that, that's supposed to be for uh, <laughs> Zen <laughs> yep <laughs> so is that all that you want to say <laughs> um. <laughs> And then, uh, just one last thing. There's been a grief disturbance in this land, in this time of virus. It would be so helpful if there's anything that you can help or might give an insight to. At least for me to help my friend and the house of Akuma and its people. Anything? The word starts to flow. Hello? After that, oh, okay. The yeah. word starts to flow in, into your head. And it is something like an, a haiku or incantation or, or a recital of something that has not been remembered to time immemorial. For this empire, which is ten thousand years ago, ages long gone, hmm? a war of the spirits and shadows passed. In that war, in order mm -hmm. to preserve the balance, Lord Orochi sacrificed himself to reinforce the barrier between worlds. It was during this time the five dragons <coughs> appeared to save and assist the mortals from being totally destroyed by the shadows. So, the barrier between worlds was erected and reinforced by the sacrifice of Orochi. And there will always be the forces to destroy the barrier or weaken it enough in order yeah. for the return of the Shadow Titan. And it was during okay. a thousand years ago the Shadow Titans reappeared one after the other 
and five spirit dragons reappeared with their guardians this time to fight them off. But some of the dragons perished while Jugan was gravely wounded. And this set the stage for the balance as we know now. For the titans are also severely wounded. But whether they are destroyed or not, no one knows. They are cast off to reside or trap in the island south of this empire. You see, like the barrier between worlds has weakened again. And more information or research is needed in order to ascertain what has been transpiring over this past thousand years. Right. A huge lord um. Well <laughs> nice. Okay. Now I yeah I can <laughs> have some sort of me. We have some proof of that. And then just uh, uh before like the lines totally cut off, I will just add a whim. Oh, by the way, kidding. Do you know of this god? I mentioned the god that like mm, mentioned the god's name. And then do you know anything of it? Of him? There are lots of deities from the barbarian world. And one that is such chaotic or brute force is known by some as Kratos. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> All right. Thank you for the information, Kiran. And I bid you farewell for now. Yep. Next time, you can Google it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I like, I like this guy. This guy is cool. <laughs> but how, how would you know? <laughs> Silence. No more response. <sighs> you number yeah. who this? And then, and then, that, 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 that. This guy, please, please, please insert more coin. Oh no. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. This generation does not know what to do anymore. Oh, oh no. That's why you yeah, collect yeah, call. Yeah. That's why you collect call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh boy. Time, please insert <laughs> how many gold coins to the commune. <laughs> oh no, gold coins! Oh no, <laughs> it's a ritual. I need to sacri- like that sacrifice that amount of coin to make this amount of time minutes, <laughs> seconds. <laughs> oh no, one at a time. Yeah, yeah, it, it depends on the distance. <laughs> The longer you are, the more. Oh the more, god! Every second, 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 no, I just, I just, I just, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I Why? just modify it. I forgot mm. to talk to myself. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I was doing some modifications to, to the sword. Okay. Sword yeah. <coughs> mm. 
Rocky. So I guess it's our night. Yep. Yeah, I would think that uh, my commune with Kirin would take to work the entire night. Okay, <laughs> so uh, you will have your long rest, and so you spend the night doing uh whatever actions that you need to do. So you spend the night until morning, yeah. is it? Mm. Yeah. Oh, good morning. But Jem, yes. During during the night, the night right before his, before Shen slept, he <laughs> tried to study the the remains of the armor. Did he find anything interesting? All right. So, uh, you notice it is a pauldron and part of a chest plate. It, the, your training and battle mastery seems to indicate that this used to be. Part of a half plate. Okay. There's there's nothing, no inscriptions or anything that could um, give us further clue. So no far, marking. It, it, well, the it, it is well worn and it is, uh, well used. You can see, uh, scrap cuts, uh, on the armor itself. It's not confirmed it's not new but also interestingly the part of the armor the pauldron that you retrieve from the ooze seems mm. to to be in good condition it's not even digested or oxidized or anything uh, even destroyed or even corroded well it's not shiny <laughs> But it is sturdy. So it's basically just a normal armor. Then. There's no inscription or any other clues other than that, that it's worn or whatever. Yep. So far, mm. you do not detect any inscription or not. That. I see. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Jim. All right. But the something about that metal or the armor seems to in keep you interested. As if the metal is not what you you have encountered in your no normal travel. Hmm, I see. Not not from this land. It is not familiar to you. Right. Okay. So, anything else? Oh, uh, none for me. All right. So, anyone else you want to do? I guess. Right. Yep. Anyone else? We're getting ready for the big journey then. Mm -hmm. Greg okay. is washing up, taking a quick uh wipe, and using the bathroom. I will just uh spend some of my ration <laughs> to get a morning start and then if there's like remnants of uh smudges or that my clothes are dirty from the previous previous battles, I will just press the digitation to clean it off. All right. Okay. All right. All right, then shall we head off? Wait, uh, Jeff, can, can I, can I, before we head off, before, sorry, before anything, like we wake up the night, can I try to do some hunting? To do a hunting what? Hunting. For breakfast. Okay, sure. Uh, why? We got rations, uh. Mm. Uh, 
Uh, just let me do a small quick hunt. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, fearless leader right? wants to play with his new toys. All right. So what was you? Have? Yeah, fifteen. Yeah. All right. So, uh, you, you can see we are bunched up and looking at him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you you saw him using his skill considerably considerable skill in order to uh search and forage for small animals. <laughs> Saw him shoot into something that was the bushes, and you managed to get yourself a a rat, a big one, yeah. a rat, <laughs> big one, a rat. What the a rat? You thought it was a hare, but it's is a rat. it a were rat? Oh no! Oh no! It's not a warehouse. <laughs> You're no longer uh, in the plane of any strut. <laughs> okay. Don't. It may be even a warehouse. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! It was a house in disguise, after all. <laughs> it is now. At least it's not this. Okay. Uh. <laughs> you never know. Oh God, no! Run! <laughs> Run away! Run away! <laughs> oh. Uh. Okay. Let's let, let <laughs> head out there. All right. Yep. So we head out. Let's speed yep. things up. Uh, before that, GM does car. Anything happen to Su? Oh yeah, ah, she was trying to attune. Is it the more buffer? <laughs> is it the gauntlet of ogre strength? Does it? Does she grow any appendages? No. Does she go become ball? Lol. Well. <laughs> so, uh, everybody except for Karasu, rule perception check. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thirteen, thirteen. So, GM, what happened? All right. So, uh, Zen and Shen. Zen Shen. <laughs> okay. Uh, you notice the the arm, the right arm of Karasu is a bit more buff than before. Oh no! <laughs> okay. <laughs> only the right arm, right? Yes, only the right arm. What is the right arm? Like most guys, yeah. But why? Why is it because there's only one one of the gloves? Is it, Jam? Well, you notice the the arm um, with the the glove is the one that is buff. So she did. There's no. <laughs> there's only a, a glove. <laughs> they don't have a pair of gloves. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Guess what? Well, okay. well, if it's a uh, uh, a left arm. <laughs> And it's a guy, then you know it's something else. Gem. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> okay, well, that, that's what you see. So, uh, Karasu, you, you are a cue to that. Guys, do you see what I'm saying? Why is my right arm is much more manlier than my right arm? Shen, 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 Shen walks ahead. <laughs> no, I'm not going to hit Shen with my arm. You may certainly try. I think that is because of the glow. Maybe. Um, Does not look feminine to me? Anyway. Alright, before we head off, I'll just 
give this to the frontliner. Hey, uh, what's it? The allies have been resolved to up to three creatures. Oh, yeah, cool. We don't have to uh, fix our... Oh, wait, yeah, we, we need to fix our maximum HP. Oh, yep. Okay. okay. So, which way are you going so to... So, Karasu, Greg, and uh, Shen. <laughs> South. All right. Yeah, Greg, Shen, and uh, yeah, Greg, Shen, and Karasu. You guys get uh, bump in max uh, HP. And before you go, Lujan says, Lords, we we think it is best for us to take out this area, this hill, as we are very familiar with this. We are very oh. troubled with the soldiers that came and impersonated. The Emperor's own legion leader. Hmm. I think we can spend some time here for a bit. So, um, how about we follow Lu Jan and his group for a bit? I have no objection to that. So, do you... Head back to the Akoma estate, or do you follow Lujan? Uh, uh, okay. Sorry, I'm, I got muted. But, <clears throat> but we need to get the medicine back to the old lady as soon as possible, right? True, but I think we should um, at least hang out with Lujan and his group for a bit, because if the mean wannabes are impersonating the Emperor's uh, men, that could be very dangerous in the long run. Uh, well, so Karasu, which one, what do you want to do? So, you can split up if you want. No, don't split up the party. Never split up the party. But, hmm. I think we should just uh, go back to the common state and get the uh, attitude Ooh. to the old lady. GM trying new stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Wow, <laughs> that's new. Yep. Oh no! I know. I know what. What was that? That's a level five spell. <laughs> uh, that was a cone, vision cone, I think. But uh, in the demo, it was using a dragon. What was it again? Forgot. Oh well. Hmm. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. Eh. Your circle will be circle. Easier huh? now. It's really yeah. too easier so, now. Yeah. Kalau tu tak ada lagi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easier <laughs> now. Oh yeah. Okay, I see it. Yep. All right. All right. So Back anyway. To, uh, okay. <laughs> Everybody playing around with. All right. So, anyway. So. so what is your decision? Greg wants to stick around with Lu Jan and uh, scout if anything's uh, amiss with his prediction or his uh, instinct. So that's Greg. What about leader? But Lady Nakoya really needs. Yeah, this thing. Lady, Lady Nakoya, Nakoya needs, really needs the medicine. It's been almost one week already. I think we, should be we have been medicine. like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. I think we should return. Mm. So that's two against one. Karasu, what about you? It's the only the I think we should head back to the Akoma estate. Okay then. I'm all voted. I know when I lose. That is okay, my lord. But you can tell Arakasi that we we will be stationing ourselves 
at Kamioka. Hmm. But Dujan, remember yes? to immediately withdraw once you see any any more of those soldiers. Okay. As you wish, Lord. We will we need more, do our best. We need more competent men like you in the in the Akroma estate. Unlike certain <coughs> Akroma soldiers <coughs> who cannot use the arrows. There's, the there's, there's no Akroma soldiers <laughs> here. Are you talking to the graves? <coughs> I'm sorry, I was just coughing. Did, did, did you hear anything? Anyway, uh, let's go. Warning. If you saw this... A word of warning. Uh, if you saw this pupil, I will conjure up a small minor illusion of the blood mages towards Lujan. Instantly retreat. Do not ever think of facing them. And as you show it to Lujan, uh, Kenji is in full view of that. Can hear him telling him to Baguette. Oh, those are the sorcerers that we tell our to care of our kids. To be wary of the other the pain of the otaku. The monks and the Yamabushis were sent to hunt them down whenever word about them appears. We do not know why they reappeared. That you can say this is a familiar to you. This is a scourge of our land. More so since the war, the Great War. GM, quick question. When Greg picked up the blood mage from the hill, Kenji was not there? No. You went to the hill and then you pick away. You picked up the blood mage? Yeah, that was kind of in the interim where everybody was doing stuff and uh Oh yeah, he, he, he was he was there. Lujan was there as well. Lujan, but was Kenji there because Kenji is the one that recognized the uh mirror image. It should be. When should Lujan. Be, they were, yeah, they were already there. Yeah, that's what I was asking. <coughs> yep. Kenji was uh, a bit pro preoccupied at, at the time, uh, mopping off the Akoma, the I mean the, the impersonators, and recognizing the head of the Min Wanabe captain. Or Tom, or the what is it? Ah, uh, the shock trooper. Uh. <laughs> All right, I'm good. Right. <clears throat> All of you are going south. Right? Yes, we're going back to the house of Okroma. Uh, yeah, do you take the normal road or the shortcut? How, how fast? Before, before we go, right? Okay. Okay. Do you guys think we should The shortcut! The shortcut! The shortcut! Take the shortcut! Take the shortcut! Hell no. We, we, are, we are down. <laughs> we are less people. <laughs> hey, but, but you guys think should we bring bring back the bodies uh, to the Akrama estate? Who gonna carry the body? Uh, ah, no. No no. No, uh? no. no, no, no. You don't want to bring? Okay, right. No. No. I mean, the shortcut saves us how many days, GM? Two days, right? Uh, two days. If we just don't, if, if we don't fight and just run, we can save two days. No, Greg says don't go here. You remember that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you no, have to no, remember no, Zen I... do not know of that place. I know, so, but, but Greg is just saying, Crawley Canyon, Death Pit, do not go. That's what I wrote yeah. down on the map. Don't go. Yeah. Exactly. I agree with him. Yeah, <laughs> we are not going back there anymore.
No, normal road. Yes. Normal road. <laughs> but we no. did. <laughs> the last time we took the normal road, they also almost killed us. Normal road, we didn't die, right? Yes. No, I mean, the shortcut road, we didn't die. Normal road is okay. Let's go, let's go, normal road then. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> Alright. You have, you become a wolf rider <laughs> at the, the belly. That was yeah. funny. Oh god, that one. Oh shit. You let those, somebody those, and, and then drag somebody. <laughs> those things survive 130 damage, man. <laughs> oh crap. So, we will be taking the normal road. Yes. Let's go for normal road. You will take the Kanazawa village. Uh, then you can continue your way to the Akuma castle, right? Yep. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Why you want to put a warehouse in there? Oh, no. <laughs> you... Alright, so you make your way towards the intended destination. You spend some time uh, along the, the road that is well traveled from Kamioka. That's what Dujan called this place. So, for Shen. And then, you notice this, uh, Oka is, has a meaning of hill. Yeah, it, it is befitting this place. Yep. There are lots of hills, and Kami hills is spewing down there. So, Dujan call this a Kami Oka, and then you make your way. So, you, so you spend some time, and you discover that this place is quite well traveled and you approach Kanazawa village after some time. So it was quite uneventful as if the the kami and the prayers <coughs> are speeding you on in order to go back as intended after in order to Kanazawa village. So in Kanazawa village you encountered two of the Akoma soldier that was stationed prior to Kamioka. Can all of you roll history? Mm -hmm. Alright, give a second. Alright. History. Ah. Oh no! Yeah, Greg is... Greg remembers stuff. <laughs> For a change. Yeah, Greg is the only one that remembers shit. Greg remembers uh, the one that the the three the survivor of from the Akoma soldiers are three people, but you encountered only two of them at Kamioka. So from Kamioka, you encountered only two at Kanazawa village. Oh, what happened to your friend? So one of them just disappeared. He disappeared in the night. We do not know why. We heard a scream as we were patrolling, but when we rushed towards the scream, we can only see like a blood trail that is being pulled into the bamboo trees near the river. This is Kanazawa village, right? The western village. This kind of village. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so um I lean into Shen and relay the thing that was just told to me. I think trouble still seems to be around here. Hmm. Shen not but I'll but the, our goal is to bring back the medicine to Nagoya. Mm, mm. But, GM, what time is it when we reach to Kanazawa? Alright, so this is okay, let's see. Why is it my Okay, 
line. Well, it's about two days from Kamioka all the way to Kanazawa. So it's we started out in the morning. So two days later, it's two days, two point one days. So now it's about ten about that. A.M. P.M. A.M. A.M. All right, so we can still struggle. So, um, I I think we should just head to the estate first before we come back here again. Yeah, let's go. All right. Um, I'll tell the soldiers that, uh, we'll inform the estate and bring in more backup. Very well, Lord. Please also... There is this lady called Hashi that started whispering to us, saying that, giving us some information. I think we want to relay this information to you. Also, if you are returning to the lady, Mara of Akuma. I call oh. Shen. Shen, 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 your influence is yes. here. Okay, but what's it? Uh, there are some. It seems that for, from her observation, some of the villagers are not as trustworthy. According to her, they seem to be passing messages among each other. And one of them use a pigeon that is not managed by Uchi, which is the the pigeon messenger. Master. Yes. So we saw two pigeons suddenly going the opposite direction. Interesting. Yeah, Interesting. We try to shoot down the other pigeon, but we need more training in our archery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, uh, I don't doubt that. Oh, I don't doubt that. Anyway, I, um, we'll, we, we'll, we, we'll still send you some backup, but Chen, I think we need to keep this in mind and be wary of whatever is going to happen to Kanazawa village. Mm, yes, of course. Definitely needs to... This one needs to be made known. Very well. Carry on. And also, I I hand him two gold pieces. Please pass, please pass this to Uchi. Uh, Hashi, sorry. To Lady Hashi. And also... I pass him another two gold pieces. This is for you and your friend. We do not deserve this and we shall not take this for our allegiance. It's always for the Lady Mara. That is true. But I'm, I'm just giving this for you so that you can do a better job. Use this money to buy proper equipment, you know, get, get proper, how's it this, huh? Get proper motivation and inspiration to better yourself. Get it, good. Our honor does not Just get good. <laughs> get good. <laughs> get good. Get good scrub. <laughs> uh, I think what Master Shen is just saying is that use the two goals that he gives to. To use for anything that is needed in this town. To bet this town. Just consider it as money from Lady Mara herself. That well, we can that we can accept, Master Greg. Master He almost uttered the word Gaijin, but <laughs> he, he called himself as a Master Greg. We, okay. we apologize. Your name is alien to us. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Shen, let's head out. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, with that, we, we left. So you will head straight back to the Akoma. Mm. Yes. Let's go. Akoma time. Yes. Lady Daguya has waited long enough. <laughs> well, does anybody well. have uh-huh. does, does anybody have revivify? Rev- 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 it's us then. Revivify. Zach can prepare can prepare it, right? No, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's not, he's not a pure, pure fool. It's what? It's it's uh one week and a half, something like that, two weeks almost. So mm, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that there's there's lots of distractions for <laughs> along the road. Eh? <laughs> it's kind of interesting. Yeah. Ooh, piece of candy. <coughs> so your journey takes you back to. Well, you are quite surprised when your journey towards the. Akuma Estate is quite uneventful this time. Maybe it's because of your experience traveling the, the lands and traversing it is not a problem anymore for all of you. Mm. So, after another day, uh, you managed to came within <coughs> a distance that you can see the Akuma Castle perched on the top of the cliff or the hill and you saw it and you managed to see the gate. Yay. And you can see more soldiers have started to be stationed in front of the entrance. So, what do we do? Everybody um, downloaded eh, the, yep. the map? We, okay. we walk up to the gate. Yep. Hail, soldier. The lords, the envoys, we do recognize <coughs> the Lord of Renown. Your word, the word of your exploits have traveled long and fast Ooh. to all the Akuma land. Mm. I'm grateful. I'm a very good lad to hear that. But unfortunately, maybe fast. Uh, we have an urgent thing to report to Lady, to our Lady Mara. Very well, Lord. Uh, I believe Lord Arakasi is in the courtyard. Ooh. Maybe. And then he shouted to somebody within the towers and announcing your arrival of the envoys of the Akoma. And the gates opened. Arakasi is nearing the the front. Okay. We beat him halfway. Oh no. Ah, great lords of renown. I ah, I am so glad that you are here. Arakasi, how how is Lady Nagoya? She has passed away. <laughs> Nagoya. She, we, we use all our prayers and our priests in order to assist her. She has a great fighting spirit, even in her years. Perhaps, how has you fared in your quest? Mm. You have acquired some item that may... 
Ah. Yeah, so you need to so but you need to see the lady immediately. Wait. Something does not smell right. Hmm. Rick sniffs himself. What do you mean, Master Arakasi? Why do I smell fresh blood? Why do I smell fresh blood? Uh... I try to perceive Jem. Right. Uh. Okay, Jem. Uh, Chad's gonna do this. Okay. He's gonna send for. He's gonna sense for killing intent. <laughs> nice. Cool. Okay. Uh, so far, you do not sense any killing intent. It's just uh, a sense that Harakasi is trying to detect something from your party. Why do I sense? Why do I smell fresh blood? And wow. the nice thing for Shen is that you do not seem to smell what he says he is smelling. Mm. I see. Harakasi seems Can to be... Can I check the... The what? Uh, okay. The direction that she's sniffing mainly came from where? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Lol. Uh, <laughs> lol. <laughs> so, who is holding the bag? Bag of holding? Yes. That would be me. Yep. Okay. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh... But it's vacuum sealed. Are we sure? <laughs> yeah, that's how we keep fresh uh, things fresh. And it's also frozen. Wow. I, I... Can, can I see that Araka is sniffing towards Greg? Yeah, Greg is smelling his, his armpit, so Araka seems to be like that. But Araka seems to be insisting that he smells fresh blood. Uh... Anything wrong, Arakasi? It, it seems faint, but I do smell fresh blood. It bothers me. Uh, is it coming Greg, from can me? You check if you have anything inside, you don't like anything. Okay, so Greg, um. Takes a look see into the bag of holding and you open it? Yeah. Okay, as you open it, Arakasi seems to be start to it smells fresh. it smells more. I smell it. Uh so we we do have meat in there, but it's kind of frozen. I don't remember putting anything inside that could be fresh. And also, we didn't use the Can rations. Take out? Uh, what do you want me to take out? Because it's very specific to what we want. Try, try to see if you have anything else than your charted inventory. Oh... Uh, Okay, so Greg takes a look see. Um does he notice anything inside GM? That's not uh oh unconscious. Why unconscious? Yeah, <laughs> GM, just just player player to GM. Alright. Is it is it related to the blood the weird the strange uh because you you didn't put it you didn't put it inside the the list. Uh? But is it is it the strange ruby that we pick up? Because that one should be the cat uh with Zen. The strange ruby with the souls one, the cursed ruby. Zen? 
It is with Zen. Zen was tried it to Zen? Yeah. I thought it was with you. That... Like he did, Zen didn't pick it up. Like he just he 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 didn't pick it up. I pick it up. <laughs> then we Zen Zen tried to purify it with the water. Remember? Yeah, and then gave it to you. He didn't give it to me back. Did okay. So Zen, is it with you? I remember I said I give it to you. Yeah, because you want to hold it. Yeah, you don't because want, you, how can you just keep throwing all the weird stuff to me? Fine, fine, fine. <laughs> let's, let's assume, let's assume some somewhere in between that you put it, you give it to me. Fine. Yeah, yeah, it's with me, GM. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, that. So. Yeah, so it is in in. in I I. Yeah. I I show I can see. Is it is it this is it this that causes the issue? I take out the 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 horrifying cursed gem. I close my bag. I smell it in from two directions. And as you close it, I can see now it's from from you. It does not smell as bad. Yes, I do detect the smell coming from you, my dear. Uh, uh, oh, okay, I guess because yes, I yes. I don't have anything gem related. But what what do you have in your bag? I do smell it. I think. Uh, no, Arikasi, Arikasi, I think we can we can sort this out later. Right now we need to see Lady Mara immediately. Uh, you know what, Shen? I think this is also important because if it's something evil and we go to see Lady Mara and it attacks Lady Mara, we're kind of screwed. Ah, uh, fine. Zen, hold hold on to to this first. Yeah. I pass I pass Zen the curse ruby. Drop it. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna touch that with ten hoopo. It's 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 covered in gold. Wait 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 wait. <coughs> wait, wait, wait. <coughs> this is gonna be yeah, yeah wait. Uh, Master Akasi, do you have do you have any chest or jar that we could put this item first before we head to Lady the Na- Nakoya? Yeah, and then he looks around and shouted at the nearest soldier that he can see. You, come here. So basically, this three then. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and then, yep. The unfortunate soldier immediately rushes to Ar- to Arakasi to tend to his need. You have. Go find a jar. Not a jar as in open, just a jar. Uh. Immediately. <laughs> Vamonos. <Lol>. Vamonos. <laughs> Por qué? <laughs> <laughs> but anywho, um okay. Greg opens the bag again and thinks of the feather. Yes, I do smell a bit of a whiff of fresh flesh. Why? What do you have inside that bag? Meat, cooking utensils, a bit of supply from the group, mm, some. Ooh, ooh. Okay, I, I'll save that with Lady Mara. Um, stuff. And, and then, uh, soldiers return with a jar. Alright. Hey, Shen. Is it, is it earthen jar? Whatever item that... Is, is it... What? Yeah, it's an earth, it's a clay jar. <clears throat> it's not okay. a glass jar. <laughs> so... Everyone, put anything that you think that might be cursed or anything that is found inside this jar. We will check on it later on. Okay, what do you put inside the jar? Okay, let's have a list. Ah. <laughs> this is so weird. Okay, Jet, uh, for, for, for Shen, Shen, we'll go to... 
we'll, we'll, we'll just drop the recording, the cursed ruby inside the jar. And then he, he goes to uh Greg, you know? Mm-hmm. And he's supposed to Greg. Greg, can you pass me can you pass me the food dog? Yes. Oh, okay. Um Greg passed the food dog. No, no, no. Okay, then it's like okay. Then you can empty, you can empty up the back. Show, show. Uh, <clears throat> Arakasi. Okay, so I show Arakasi what's in the bag. Basically, um, six tusks, lots of meat. Um, and oh, uh, and also the the the, the Barbie hide. <laughs> did we take the Barbie yes. hide? Yes. Yes, we did it. The meat and the hide. Okay. Yeah. Remember, you, you also say you want to make, use it to make armor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, okay. So, we just show stuff in there. It's like, okay, here's what I got. Yeah, uh, that won't fit into the jar. Yeah, no, just going to put it in the bag. Oh, okay. <laughs> Take it out from the bag. <laughs> no, it won't fit in the jar. <laughs> no, I mean, you just, you just leave it lay on the floor, I guess. <laughs> no. It's a refrigerator, so the meat needs to be there. Oh, yeah, the meat. Yeah, that's it. Bag. Where do you get it? Walmart. I thought it's Costco. My <laughs> <laughs> guess. And then, okay. Anything else that you want to put inside the bag? Inside the inside the jar or for inspection? This is like a TSA. Airport, yeah, TSA. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's about it. I I think my ruby is already. <laughs> Yep. Right. So you think. Yeah. Okay, a- anything else? I think that's about it. That's suspicious. Are you sure? I have a bit of a Do you still smell something from any of us? I mean, from the jar. And. Yeah, I do not smell it from that bag anymore. But what hmm. is this? Okay, who has the talisman? Uh, you mean our pendant, the talisman? We all have it, right? No, no, no. The the blood talisman. Oh, this one. Oh, that one. Uh, I. No, I, not with me. That's I can I can confirm that shit. Uh, uh, yeah, you do it. Nah, stop with me. Uh, I think last person who checked on it was supposed to be either Zen or Zen or Shen. Did we take the blood talisman? Wait, uh, GM. I don't think so. If you look at the the back log, GM didn't say we get any blood talisman. Did we? Oh, yeah, it's Shen. Yeah, we we did. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm trying to imagine eh, Shen has everything on him. Yep, everything yeah, that's cursed. Uh, because, because for some reason the party don't, don't want to you know, only hands him the, the stuff that's bad. You are the, the, you are the potter. <laughs> I, I, okay. ca- I carry food. You don't want to mix food with cursed items. That's a big no-no. Anyway, Jeff. Yep, yep. That's okay, it. So, <laughs> so do you show that talisman also? Yes, of course. Alright. Because that's one that I didn't know I have. Okay, fine. Uh, and then with that, I was like, hey, you should not put this together with that gemstone. Oh. This is a ruby. This is something special. This is very rare. Is this a good thing or a bad thing? Usually it's good. I oh. see, I see, it, it is partially burned. What happened to the user? Uh, we killed them with a rock? Well, I think you killed the, the user before the user managed to activate the magic that is inside this. Do we save this for later? Because we kind of need to re- uh, revive yeah. Lady Nagoya. Nagoya. Yes, 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 yes. 
Yeah, just uh, the gemstone. Leave it there. Leave it outside the. Leave it. Leave it outside the, even the compound. You soldier, carry it out. <laughs> Keep it outside the gate. Yeah, give it. Give it to this guy here. <laughs> Close this is the way. Close the gate. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. So, um, I guess we go save people. Woo! We, we must so, hurry. Yeah. Yeah. So, you all go there and you rush. You make your way into the home. Take off shoes, go in. <laughs> oh, Papa Mayo. Wait, we got the stuff. We got the stuff. We want to heal. Take off your shoes. I already did. Oh. Mayo, let's go. We need to meet Lady Mara and Lady Nagoya. They shed take off his shoes. <laughs> of course, he did. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, but the barbarians are more civilized now. Yes, I am librarian. <laughs> and you can say he's a smart one. Who me? Yes, right. right. You are. Yeah. I have a score of eight. So please enter. And Lady Mara is there. She seems to be standing like Takoya, uh, <coughs> who is who seems to be sleeping. Okay, all okay. Uh, the four of you, can you roll perception check as soon as you enter the room? Oh yeah. Oh, very perceptive, uh, the, the librarian tonight. Mm. I wonder what happened to Shen. Shen's loading. <laughs> oh no, the loading has that put one. him in. Yep. He's, he's hitting walls and whatnot. Oh no. Okay, so. Uh, <coughs> uh, you what, as you notice, uh, you go into the uh, the room, the throne room of Lady Mara. You notice Lady Mara's bearing is a bit different than before. <coughs> you notice oh. that before she seems to be like uh, just another teenager. Mm -hmm. That is coming out from her training to become a priestess. But this time around, as you notice her movement, is a bit more fighter-like. Oh, okay. I'll keep that in mind. But anywho, uh, uh, go ahead. As she, she, has, she is... Uh, Wiping a uh, wet a damp cloth onto Nakoya's face, uh, you notice the right arm seems to be a bit callous on the the hand. Mm. Hello, Lady Mara. We're back. We got the medicine. I think. She just uh, she turned and nodded. Well met. Lord, I pray you came bearing good news. Ten, 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 go, go, go. Do, do your thing, do your thing. Yes. We, we do have some good news for you, Lady Mara. But I think we might need Master Arakasi assistant on it. As you, you hear that, uh, Papi Wayu seems to gesture towards Arakasi and he made his way quickly <coughs> into the room and, and bowed 
to Lady Mara. I am here. I will offer my assistance in any way I can. Lady Mara, if you, if I may, I step in to the center and then took out the koi ball and I present it to her. We have acquired this from a guardian from the lands of Kamiona. I do need Master Arakasi assistance on how to operate it and what is it exactly. Ah, this is ancient magic. This are remnants. Magic. Strong it is. Powerful also. If I may, Master Zen, Lady Mara, would you allow me to operate Lady Mara. this magic in your presence? Lady Mara seems to be nodding and Arakasi looks to Zen to see whether Zen will give the agreement for him to handle the item. Yeah. Please. I hand it over to Arakasi. Are you sure? <laughs> the end with his question. Yes. yes. hand of the vessel and do that and as soon as Arakasi touches that it started glowing and the koi seems to be usually it's just swimming around but now the koi seems to be attentive and looking at Arakasi Arakasi uh -huh. nodded that and just maybe he uttered something or he mumbled something or incantation and he waved his hand onto the koi and the stone like jade or stone uh, that seems to be uh, or the glass that seems to be like a glass that suddenly it turns to water. Oh, and now it is a vessel that has a water with a koi inside and starts to glow almost similar to the glowing lake that you have been you have seen you need to give this lady Mara to for lady Nakoya to drink okay maybe in small sips as soon as he says that koi seems to be uh, moving back around and then but then it is in a circle around the a circle where the uh, the koi is now trying to avoid any touch to lady mara that seems to take bits of the water and put it onto nakoya's lip to breathe better. And Arakasi just mentioned we have to give this from time to time to her until it is all finished. But for the the koi I will take the koi later into the pool and release them there for them to consecrate the Akomas Natami ground. I believe 
this a powerful message and your envoys have done their quest wonderfully Lady Mara and Akasi Thank you. Yes. We have also obtained what you seek and we can pass it to Aragasi. The food dog! Wow! The food fighters! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> wow, how do you manage to find this? And not this. one, but a pair. Mm. And in pristine condition. Uh. Yeah. Great, you want you want to tell the story? Uh okay. We went to the um oh, sorry. Uh, we went to the uh Kamiwoka Hills. We saw a dog. The dog told us to go to a place to the west, which is not the south. And we beat up some rock dogs and they got destroyed. I didn't really do any damage because I, I can't hit animals because they're cute. So uh, we managed to defeat them and we got this. In the ancient times, the guardians do not surrender themselves willingly and they will require a test of strength for the houses to even be considered to be guarded by them. <laughs> you oh. managed to secure them. You must be powerful warriors indeed. Oh, I guess so. I mean, one of them kind of like me, I think. <laughs> ah, Lady Mara, with your leave, we need to perform a prayer that will take some time in the consecrated glade of your forefathers in order for them to be attuned to your holding. <coughs> oh God, that's right, that's simple. All right. All right. Anything else? I think we're good unless um Arakasi, Papayo, Lady Mara want to say anything. Lady Mara, I believe. Do you need to? Yes. This one. What? This Once one? Lady Mara has started their her prey, do you need like any assistance on guarding the prey? We need to tend. To I believe the process will take some time. Yes. I believe we, we need to give you a good rest and a proper reward for all your effort. These are such a wonderful effort, and this has not been given to us, to this house, for a very long time. We always we are always the underdog. <coughs> no pun intended. <laughs> Ah, forgive me, Lady Mara. <laughs> I do not mean to belittle this situation, but I cannot help it. This is such. Uh, I'm so excited. Cute dog. Yeah. But anywho. <coughs> I believe we should make hates. I will send for the priest and also the monk to begin the prayers uh, for the consecration of the food dog. Lady Mara, try to rest also. You need your rest. You have been working too hard. Uh, all of you, if you do you have anything else, maybe anything that is not so urgent can be relate to is the Pape Wayo and me. Uh, we, sh we need to leave Lady Mara to rest. Yes. I shall tend to your reward. Yes. 
very well. Thank you, Lady Mara. And then I just bow to Lady Mara and then take my leave. Then we'll Master Craig, noble... please do not go into the the glade. Oh, sorry, sorry. Did did they want to make people have to step around? Sorry, my bad. Shall we go into your a uh, more private setting? Yes, please. We have news. Okay, walk this way. <coughs> so, anyway. Um, we have news from Hanazawa village. Yes, I have received a missive from the Hanazawa village. Okay, and here's an update. It seems that there, there's troubles going on over there. One of the guards was... Oh. Kind of murdered and taken away in a blood trail towards the bamboo forest. Do you know what caused that? We didn't really spend much time uh, talking to the guards, but that was the info that was relayed. Um, Are these the guards or the, you know, uh, grey warriors? This was um, our guards, the Ak House of Chroma guard. Soldiers. Mm. So... From what we experience being in there, it could be some Oni, as you mentioned. Or devils, or demons, or whatever it is. But how is the village? I heard from, well, I read the letter that was penned by Master Shen. I do recognize your <sighs> intricate kanji. Yeah. Uh, this you know, this Sholong kanji is a bit more intricate than ours. Hmm. Shen, how we want to update them? Because from what I know, or from what I heard, it seems like the Min Wannabe is trying to muscle their way in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It is. It seems that some, some of the villagers has been colluding with the Min Wannabe. And has been sending messages, big <coughs> messages, to unknown places. The penalty for treason is death. It is indeed death. But the village has been attacked by strange creatures, and somehow or another, the village elders have all been conveniently killed. We weren't able to ascertain it was a plot by the Min Wannabe. Or the demons. Uh, or the demons. But it seems strangely, very strangely convenient that all the elders died. And the ones that, you know, that just created a power vacuum that is, that is very suitable for uh, for some you know, wannabe sympathizers. Hmm. Uh, there's Kanazawa village. Uh, on top of that, while we were at the Kamiwoka hills, uh, we were approached by the royal guards. I royal guards? held up my hand and conjured a minor royal illusion. Royal oh. So, the, uh, show Arakasi what they look like. These are Ashigaru. They're... This is from the Emperor's own legion. But, <laughs> uh, but, <laughs> but no. from the Grey Warriors, they told us that uh, they could be imposters. Are you sure? Yes, because when uh, they unmask them, they say that they're mean wannabe soldiers.
are you sure that is what was told? Yeah, no, they said that. They, no, they... no one has ever done this. It's such dishonor. This is such high treason. This is That's beyond like... treason. This is high yes. treason. Yes, Augustus. I, I wanted to carry their bodies back, but unfortunately, as you can see, we are pressed for time. So we did not manage to carry the bodies back. But on top of that, right, when we, uh, when I approached them, they were more interested in, I take a look here at the room and just surroundings. Do I see Karasu? Karasu is not in the room. So I'll just say, they were more interested in Karasu rather than me. Do I don't know. Uh, I, I'm not sure. They could be using her as an excuse, or maybe she did something bad. I, I'm not sure. But the guards just went out, went full out on an attack, not even trying to capture us. Because the Emperor, the light of heaven, is always neutral <coughs> in all matters. He is a conduit to the great Khan <coughs> on our behalf. And uh, now I guess mm -hmm. this is from one of the... Do you think that the meaning is... What, 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 what you were saying? Uh, okay, never mind. Let, 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 let... Yeah. Let, 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 I let, think let, my voice is a bit delayed, so Yeah, your your voice is always a bit delayed. So uh when you wanna speak, we let you speak first. Yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to do you think that, that the mean wannabes had infiltrated the Emperor? Let me move closer. The, the main wannabe has always had their eye to become the warlord. The warlord is the one that holds the true power for the empire. The emperor has always delegated most of the decisions politically and also in terms of war, to the warlord. And the warlord are cousins to Jingu of the Minwanabi. Mm. Arakasi, in terms of power, do you recognize this? And I asked Zen to mind illusion the huge ass creature or warrior that we fought which will be in the size of a five foot cube <laughs> okay not not 15 eh no Ooh. that's a giant that's a Hugo Kyojin yep uh it was kind of huge and it was really big, but do the mean one be or the emperor have this kind of power? The mean one we definitely know. These are solitary creatures, or they have a clan that resides deep in the mountain. It will take a whole lot of gold and riches to even entice one of them to join the cause. Are you sure that is is the one that you have seen? I mean we fought it. Um we we didn't really try to unmask it. It was kind of big. I think I, sorry I so underestimate you. I thought you can be 
you are normal adventurer that we can use to assist us. Seems to be that you are all more than I anticipate. I am in awe to all of you. Oh, by the way, um, on a side note, I kind of read a giant oni? What giant oni? Uh, you see, when we were fighting in the Hana, um, give me a second, when we were fighting in the Kamiwaka Hills, uh, there was this blood mage, and she was, con she was not really controlling, but dragging along this person on a chain, and it seems like, oh, um, he was using him as a battery for his power, and I thought to myself, you know, I should probably free the man so he can live his life and not be a battery for the lady. So I kind of broke the chains and somehow he was happy and turned into a big giant demon. I think. And the lady was furious at me because I freed his battery. And the big guy gave me this axe. And I showed um, Arakasti the Leviathan axe. Arakasti looks at the axe. <coughs> and didn't want to even touch it. Huh. Interesting. Uh... Can you describe this giant Oni that you mentioned? He was big, red, I think, and had wings. I don't really remember. He was kind of in a haze of battle. You Maybe. What, what is its color? Oh, give me a second to try and remember. Mm. It was kind of a while ago. I touch your kind of shoulder and then cast guidance on you. Oh, we're doing that. <laughs> okay, let let let's 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 go. Uh, <laughs> I do need the D four. Oh, let's go, let's go. That's gonna be interesting. <laughs> uh, is any you can? Okay. No, nobody can. <laughs> nobody um. can. Oh. Mm, okay, let's go to D4. Let's go to D4. Ah, <laughs> where's the dice? Where's the dice? Where's the dice? Where's the D4? Yeah! Yeah! You see the bottom? You can see the bottom gate. You know, bottom gate. That's uh, the dice roll. <laughs> Fail. Oh no. So, let's see. Seven. Yeah. All right. So you managed to just describe that there's a huge oni with some tusk, like a boar on it. But one thing that you very well remember it, it is, it has this necklace that seems to be made of beads, <laughs> but big, huge one. Yep, yep, I just remember it, I just remember it. It's raining color, mm-hmm. No wings, my bad. And it has two huge flails. And can you, Greg, roll another perception check? Okay, alright, let's go, baby. Woohoo! Nice! You notice Arakasi seems to be pale as you describe as best as you can. But the the way that when you call, when you describe it as a red and with two flail and then Akasi just muttered something. 
Ding. That was his name. I don't know. I don't remember. What is he bad guy? Uh, for Shen and Zen, two of them, the murder on them. You notice the the name, the the word Jigoku seems to to mean uh Jahanam or something, uh, something like uh, uh curse, uh, curse. Uh, uh, Jahanam. Uh, Are you sure that you are describing this as <laughs> true? Oh, uh, I think so. He, he changed into a giant and I speak giant to him. Also gave me this axe, which is kind of strange because this axe is not from this land. Mm -hmm. Those are the Jingoku creatures. He is one of them. There are six of them. Oh. And a sister, right? All of them are giant. Only. Okay. But are they bad? They are the harbingers of the Titan. Fatui harbinger. Uh, bring on Titan. Hmm. I feel like I've heard something similar going on in the world of Alexandria. Hmm. But anywho, so there's six of them, and are they all in prison, sealed? In the last war, they were supposed to be in prison with their masters. Oh. Are you sure again? I, I need to be really sure. Are you really describing big giant, red giant Oni? Oh, I checked the video and yes, it was a big giant Oni with a lot of big beads. And on the YouTube recap. Oh no, not yet. <laughs> not yet. It'll uh, soon be. Uh, well, <coughs> there are six of them, and they are of varying colors. Ooh. They, they each are, and every one of them have their own vice and mastery so what was the red one anger blood blood hmm. yeah uh jam is it is it is it is it like this this color that's <laughs> <laughs> only five ma. yeah the sixth one haven't come out yet <laughs> six one the sixth one is the green which later become white one <laughs> Oh, which became green, red, and which became black. <laughs> oh, no, that's not, 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 not black, gold, gold, right? The gold. Nope, no, no, <laughs> he he became black. The you forget about it. Let's carry on. I know, thunder, I know, thunder, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm so confused. You, that would be the when you what you describe could be the only of blood. Hmm. No wonder he was obsessed about draining her blood. Hmm. So, is there he any... Is the most destructive of them. Oh. So, is there, there any... any is there any recorded history of who owns them? They are never owned by anyone. They swear sub allegiance and subservience to the Titan. But... The person that controlled this one was one of the blood majors. That to to imprison them or even chain them up or bind them 
takes considerable effort, magic, and mastery. Which is why I have to ask, are you sure that this is what you have seen? For yeah. Why is so much magic and energy and mana that I do not hear anyone attempting to do that other than the kami, the spirit dragon? Well, um, I remember freeing him and he was thankful for it. And he gave me the axe. But other than that, uh, he was uh, doing his own thing. So, you, you freed him? Well, at the time I didn't know he was a demon. To even imprison them or capture them requires so much effort. I mean, no, if... no, no, no. Not, nothing much can be done. What's past is past. So, yeah. He seems, you, he seems to be very distressed as we, we see him right now. Arakashi? One more thing. Yeah. Yes. One more. Master Arakashi. Yes. I think this is in great deal that we may have to look upon. Last night when I communed with Kirin, he did mention that the barrier between worlds is weakening. And the possibility of what happened thousand years ago might happen in the near future. Now you can see Arakashi visibly <laughs> looking upset. So far that you have met him all these months ago when he first recruited you, he never has never been. He seems to be jovial, playful. Now he seems stressed, worried, stressed. And if he if he had hair, they will fall out. <laughs> and he seems to be trembling. <laughs> He's visibly shaken or stressed out. Mm. Cannot be helped. Cannot be helped. He keeps muttering that. I I have to process this. Uh, I I need time. <coughs> I I I, I need time to, to, to process this. <laughs> Best not to distress yeah. Lady Mara more than, than is necessary. Thank you for consulting, for telling me this. Uh, ah. By the way, I guess there's even uh, more, more what? for you. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh no. Anything worse than, than than what you have told me? Ah no, don't worry. It's nothing bad. I just I just show him the the pile of armor that we gathered. Mm. This are uh, the armor that we gathered from the soldiers pretending to be the emperor's soldiers. Oh, we picked that up. Yes, I picked that up. And right. also the and so this piece of armor that we yeah, found Shen from, that up. from the boar. And, and Shen is the one who says, "I why am I carrying everything?" Yeah, he, yeah. he likes to carry everything. <laughs> That this is the one that I carry. That I just carry. <laughs> Fine, right, Jeff? Yeah. So, yes. This it is just be... basically the useless junk. <laughs> so <laughs> basically, you gave Arakasi some interesting metal, one pound of special metal. Uh, no, no. Uh, no. Yeah, I guess so. Is it the one pound of special metal is different, right? I mean, if you're giving everything to him, uh, that's included oh. in. Nice well. well. Nice well. Okay. Yeah, nice well. Nice well. The so, one power of special metal, the half digested armor, and also uh the fragments of three pieces, three large pieces of the 
Adamantium. Uh, half, half plate. Uh. We don't know. I, I, I don't know what it is. You know, but I don't know. <laughs> uh, and I show, show it to all to him uh, so that he can yeah. identify it. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, I, I guess I need a bit of distraction from the distressful news <laughs> that you, uh, about yeah. for the Jigoku. Uh, uh, ah, okay. It, this seems to be a good imitation of the Empress Legion. Oh? So, what mm. the Grey Soldiers did was true then? They were impersonating then? I think there is something because this is, as I see it, this is. There is a certain make because all the Emperor's armorer are kept in a special place. To have this great force, this tries to imitate that. But here, do you see this? So we lean in closer. Oh. Okay. Usually, it's a it's a plate, it's a banded mail. Uh, it's a banded armor. There is a certain way of knitting the armor, the under armor. Oh, Adam. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I see. I uh, okay. I get it. This is this is a bit different. Yeah, I don't see the yellow triangle. I believe you are correct. This is not from the armory of the empire, the emperor's armory. Maybe somebody else is doing that. So would you say that the mean wannabe would go that far? It's not going to be, going to be cheap. Okay, Arakasi. I do not know why they will go to that level of deception. Is if they're caught with this, right? They yeah. is, is treason, was it? I do not know. So let's just say that it's not the mean one I'll be because I don't think they're that stupid to risk being called treason or traitors or whatever. So, is there anybody else who has that much influence and power and money to create this? Other than the warlord himself? Mm-hmm. There is also the Anasaki. The what? Another house. Another great house. Anasaki. Anasaki. Multiracial country. Yeah. Hmm. But what do they have? Sorry, uh, what would they gain by impersonating the Empress and hunting us? And no subti. But you, you said Anal Sati, right? So it's A-N-A. No. <laughs> no, Anal Sati. <laughs> but anywho. Remember when I said the Akoma is part of the five great houses? Yes. These five great houses align themselves each to the great dragon of Oni. Hmm. So, who? Uh, sorry if I'm asking uh, something that's already known, but which houses are aligned with the Great Dragon of Old? House of Chroma, for one. Yes. Who else? Anasati, one. Who else? The Anasati, the main wannabe, the Shinzawai, and of course, the, the Lord of Heaven, the Emperor himself. So... It's... Hmm... I, I know that the House of Chroma have a bit of rivalry with the Minwana Bees, but what do what do they gain or what does everyone gain if House of Chroma is no more? 
by right, all these houses should be working together. If you mention the Jingoku, uh, revive or freeze, but for many centuries due to the infighting between the houses itself, especially since the patron for the Anasati and Minwanabi has been destroyed in the last war, they have been looking to find the patron back or revive their own patron if it is even possible. So, with the info that we have, the giant that we faced, not the Jingoku, but the other one earlier on, that was impersonating as the Royal Guard, which you mentioned that needed a lot of money to influence them to at least join their fight. So, the... Anasati and Minwanabi have that influence? I do not believe they have. But if they uh, they manage to find that resource without telling the empire about it, that is a crime on its own. I'm just thinking aloud. Is there any possible way that an outsider is influencing all this fighting? I cannot. I cannot deduct that possibility. It can be, but an outsider. How do you come to this conclusion or this possibility? I mean, you did say that the uh, Minwanabi and the Anasati don't have the resource or cash flow to influence or to buy the giant to their cause. So, logically speaking, someone outside may have funded them with the cash flow to kind of get them on their side. That or they just spend their own resources to get the uh, get the giant and um, manufacture their own royal armor. But the other thing I don't understand is why attack us? Why me? I believe I need to use your talent for fact finding, please. Hmm. And then he looks at Shen. Master Shen, do you believe the empire of, of the Sholong? is capable of such interference. Mm. Shen, Shen, Shen just like, Shen just like, no, think, think for a while, then he shook his head. I'm not sure. For one thing, oh shit, I can't, I can't remember. Jeff, what, what was the name of the assassin cult, the assassin? Eh? The Hamoy. Ah, the Hamoy Tong, yeah. The Hamai Tong has interfered in my clan's business. But I was a child. I am not sure. If Hamai Tong could have influenced my clan, I'm not sure if the reverse is also true. This is distressing. I'm getting an ulcer from this. Oh no. Uh, I, I, I need to process more. I I I I need time. I need I need to think. <laughs> okay. Um I, I, I think it's best that you go process things and I, I, I need I need to to get something for my ulcer. Okay. By the way, I guess do, do you I, think I more bad news? <laughs> Not really bad news, but I I asked Greg to take out the Bobby hide. Oh. The haram, the haram hide. Okay, so yeah. 
I, I yeah, take it out. Yeah, does your is your armor able able to make some better, some good armor using this help? This height. Of course, our armorers can fashion a lot of things from that. But wait, this is useful for something. You, I forgot to mention about this. Half plate. Mm-hmm. They need to usually half plate have leather under armor, where this can be attached to that. Ooh. So we can hmm. combine the hide with the plate to create a new armor. Yeah, that is a very. Well, I thought you knew about about the half plate. What the half plate does? No. Yes. Yes. But Not really. Is, like, I, like I see, we got three of them, three large heights of uh, this thunder pigs, thunder balls, <laughs> thunder balls. Which you know, as you know, they like love to eat metal. I'm sure the heights itself could be used to make some good light armor, which I need, mm-hmm. as well as the half plate. And uh, yeah, thunder balls. Just, you see. Yeah, and uh, since they uh, they eat they eat metal, I'm sure the height the height is also very tough. With all of this news, I was half thinking that you may see they were thundercats. Yo, <laughs> uh, we will be chaotic evil, right? If we kill the thundercats. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, with the last episode in last show, uh, I I don't think there's a problem there. <laughs> anyway, depending on which which one. Oh, Thundercat <laughs> Rose. Oh, God, that was <laughs> trash. <laughs> so much pop culture reference. <coughs> yes. Okay. I, I, I'm I sure we can do something with that. But I do need to process. I'll love that. <laughs> uh. Oh, I can see. One last thing. <laughs> <laughs> One last thing. Before, before you leave, I need, I need to ask if you can help me get the magical item. Uh, can you can you tell what kind of magical item that you need? It's similar to what Greg is wearing. It's a coat of protection. Mm. Uh, let me ask that from... Let me check our inventory and ask that from Lady Mara herself. Mm, thank you very much. From, from your exploits, I believe a proper reward is deserving for you. Mm. I shall I shall ask her gently about this. Okay, uh, take your time. I I need to lie down. <laughs> <laughs> so that is that all? Yeah, I think so. We're good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. One more thing. I got. <laughs> I, I, oh we no! Have, we ran out of one more thing. <laughs> uh, I got see. I just want to let you know something. Your Akroma soldiers, yeah, training is terrible. <coughs> and I start to, I, and I start to describe the abysmal archery skills that they, you know, they have portrayed. You know, terrible lack of coordination and also, uh, <clears throat> very bad skills with their in their melee combat. <laughs> and also how 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 the grey warriors were, a lot better than them. I think like three times better than them. Yeah. I, I do know that. For <laughs> remember, there are only thirty something soldiers left when mm-hmm. we first started. These are they are the only ones who is left after all the veterans were totally decimated. I see. By the treachery of the Minwanabi. I see. So I think the that's why that's, that is why I think Lady Mara has a stroke of genius to recruit the Grey Warriors, the mm-hmm. experienced ones, in order to have them train up our soldiers and recruit more in the essay interim. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Now you know what? See, now that I know the skill of your soldiers, yeah, I can see that. Very, very smart. 
I mean, they they do good. I mean, they were just not lucky that day. Right. They didn't even land a single hit on a giant blood monster. I mean, you had your bad rolls too. But not that bad. Mm. <laughs> and yeah, that's all. That's all I got. I got. <coughs> uh, thank you for for all of this information. A lot of information. Yes. Me- information. Remember to send some some <coughs> reinforcements to the village. Mm. Oh, and yeah. we'll take that. Uh, mm. <coughs> <coughs> oh no! No, no, Sichen. What happened to you? What happened? Uh... Oh, no, Sichen. No. Are you getting kidnapped, Sichen? Um, oh, cough once if you if you're that. <laughs> oh no! Anyway. <laughs> so, is that all? I think so. Uh, I believe so. Chen Chen, would you like to say anything? Chen Chen's oh, not in the no. room. Ah, okay. <laughs> I, I think that would be all, Narakasi. You can take a bit of rest. All right, so three of you, uh, mm-hmm. can you roll a perception check? Yes, I will. Ooh. Damn, Greg is too perceptive tonight. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. <coughs> I I I rolled a lower and I got. 16. 16. Okay, it's not right. bad. Okay. I you know, but I got but I got what I got I think. Uh I, I forgot my skills. <laughs> what you call it? Event uh percept uh it? advantage. Nah, no, 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 this is what you call it. Uh I can't remember. What 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 do you call when you have proficiency? Yeah, proficiency. I have proficiency and I still roll the lowest. To all the guys. <laughs> and as Arakasi stumbles out of the room, almost uh trembling <coughs> in in very distress, and you can you can almost overhear him say, two of us lost we lost two of us to continue. I wonder what you mean by that. And with that, we shall end tonight's adventure. Oh, yay. yay. Ooh. Ooh. A lot of Lord Dump. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, this, this is like the clip, the clip that I sent to the GM. It's like, yeah, finally, I can Lord Dump everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have been in in battles after battles, week after week of battles. I know, <laughs> I know. Yeah. So like five. Yeah, yeah true. See, it's never ending. Eh? Yeah, by, I know. By 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 role play or by design, <laughs> you guys are stumbling or not stumbling, eyes wide open, going into battles. <laughs> I mean, we try not to. Ah, uh, liar. I mean, Greg was <laughs> Greg was trying to distract them while the rest can run yeah, away. I, also, who knows? I like, persuade them. I try to persuade them too. Yeah, I mean, if if they were not hostile, they shouldn't there's have attacked. A, there's a deaf warlock saying, "Ah, oh, what?" <laughs> oh God, no. Anyway, so uh, hmm. each one of you will get two hundred XP for role play. No, nice. okay. thank you. Okay. Then 1,500 XP for completing the Nakoya's quest. Woohoo! Finally. The quest. <laughs> 1,000 uh, extra for the food dog. Woohoo! Nice. Nice, nice. 
Any revelation bonuses? Hold on, hold on. Revelation. Revelation. Okay, I will uh, award another 200 XP for... Liz okay, uh, no, no. There will be 100 XP for listening uh, attentively to the campfire story. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to add that I add mo uh, my own story, but I couldn't think of one that's kind of related. Maybe Strat, but I Greg doesn't know Strat that well. <laughs> I I actually want to, want to tell a story as well, but you know what? <laughs> I I wanted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Greg should have just told the story of the party. <laughs> but I got was around. <laughs> yeah, that would be that would be I so Kim. <laughs> Yeah, true, true, true. Then one thing, eh? <clears throat> the, the, you are familiar. You ha you you think the the phrase Nam Jahannam mm -hmm. is of this region? It, it's a bit south of here. Ah, uh, okay. It, it, it is from here. Mm. Third GM, the first two hundred is two hundred fifty, right? What? The XP two hundred fifty, right? Two hundred, two hundred, two hundred, two hundred. Oh, not 50, alright, cool. <laughs> okay, so how was that? Oh, okay, not bad. Not, bad. not a bad quest, actually. Well, yeah, finally, you completed this arc. <laughs> yeah, now, now, now going, like, yeah. now we have multiple things to go forward with. Oh, but, ah, oh, man, now, now I need a, now Greg needs a hook, because, Technically, Greg's finished his quest. <laughs> oh, man. Gio needs to think of something for Greg. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see how things go. Mm -hmm. So, so far, good. <laughs> yep. Enjoy the, the, <laughs> today was... <Info> dumb. <laughs> yeah. To, today was pretty good. Today was pretty good. Not much fighting. But the lower dump was kind of heavy. Nice. Uh, it's about trying to tie something. At, at least we have some to, to go. <laughs> yeah, it's by design. True, true, true. Because, because you have, okay, uh, well, usually there is a pace for uh, fighting and then uh, revelation or getting clues, but you guys are stumbling into each and every encounter. <laughs> fight, 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 rest. I mean, we, oh. we, did, we try not to. Uh, try harder. Try <laughs> Just there, we're doing our own by, thing. By so the way, what level are you guys at, really? Um, me, I am at 8. Alright. Well, and then there are also things that you have yet to know its description or its power, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> oh, God. We'll, we'll have to wait and see so... for that one. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoy the, <laughs> the intrigue. Yeah, yes. now, 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 now we are like thinking, hmm, what's happening actually? Oh, oh well. <laughs> hey, somebody <coughs> commune. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Finally. Yeah, finally, after, <laughs> screw, after screwing up. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> Yeah, Don't yeah. To Google. Oh, no, no, yeah, this is good, this is good. Now, oh, now here's an interesting thing. We'll then share the info of the god that Greg was asking. Hmm. Yeah, I, I forgot about that. Yeah. yeah. I'm not saying that you should, I'm just saying, will you? Hmm. So, 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 
total you guys get 1,900 EXP. Total? 1,900? No. Uh... Yep. Wait, what? What? There's another thousand there. No, no yeah. No, total. Total is 1,000. Wait, wait, really? No, yeah. Like, you you even wrote it down. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Forgot. What? I put it as 100. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> It should be by base is already two thousand five hundred, and then you plus the two, so that's seven, and then it's yeah. total of two eight. Yeah, yeah. Well, if you want to just take the one nine, I'm okay. <laughs> I mean, you can take the one nine. We want to take the two two k. Well, so two thousand. I need another three k to level up. Oh no! Oh, do side quest for do do side quest with the GM. One on one. So, how do you like the map? How do you like the story so far? <laughs> kind of interesting. I, I, I enjoy the intrigue that we are at now. It is interesting. So, yeah. Um, I don't know, man. Like, we have to wait and see for next session to see where we go from here because it's either going to be shopping episode or we carry on. That's for next week. For next mm. session. Mm -mm. Not necessarily next week. For the, that's for the next session. Yes, yes. Well, Hope. at least there is a resolution tonight. Yeah. Uh, resolution. Oh, boy. I mean, 48,000 is just like... Mm. Yeah, that's a lot of EXP to earn. <laughs> just a lot of EXP to earn. I don't think we can, we can reach that 14k. We are technically a quarter there. Quarter, quarter through there. So what? Okay. Hitting level nine. Hitting level nine. I'm. I just need, uh, eight thousand more. <laughs> <laughs>